White Orchard is an amazing place to start out your adventure in The Witcher 3. And there is a lot to do before you leave for Velen. So I will show you guys what I do on a, on a typical playthrough through The Witcher 3. Note that I am playing on a new save just to show you what it's like to start out at a low level. So as you can see I'm level 1 at the moment. But I will show you what I do before I leave White Orchard. If you guys are new around here, then please feel free to like the video. If you find it informative, then I'm posting a ton of new Witcher free content, so feel free to subscribe, guys, if you are brand new. It will help me out, and it helps with the YouTube algorithm. But anyway, guys, let me show you the first thing I will do. As you guys can see, White Orchard is a pretty big area, and I'm still on the very first quest of the game, Lilac and Gooseberries. So what I will do first, guys, is... I'm heading over to the Nilfgaardian camp so I could speak to the general. But before I do that, I will always go along and make sure I grab this place of power right here. Then, before I actually go to the tower, you can do it after the tower. Just make sure you do this before you leave White Orchard. Always grab the unnamed locations here because they can contain treasure chests, abandoned camps, which then could make you more gold and upgrade your levels overall. So that's what I'll always do first guys, do the surrounding areas, but before I leave I'll make sure to get all of these white these white question marks full out and finished. The second thing I would do before I leave White Orchard is complete all of the secondary quests apart from com collect them all. Because this is the Gwent quest to collect every single Gwent card and it's impossible to leave White Orchard. Next up guys is Witcher Contracts as well, so it goes under the same thing as secondary quests. So I will always complete, this is the only Witcher contract in The Witcher 3. Um, it's Devil by the Well, and it's quite easy to complete. You can complete it at level 1, my level, as long as you've got the right stuff. I'll be posting a video on this contract um, in the near future as well, so stay tuned for that. Now absolutely guys, do not miss the opportunity to do the to do these mini side, like side events, which are the um, abandoned deserter camps. These ones are absolutely amazing for not for not only experience, but also they're amazing for easy loot to sell as well. Or if you're looking to upgrade your if you're looking to quickly upgrade your stuff as well, you can also um, like weapons. You can also add it to your weapon. So a lot of these deserters will have fist tech, which you can sell, or you can save it for a crafting recipe. It's kind of the equivalent to drugs in The Witcher 3. As well as they'll have like food items and small blackjacks mainly, but they can also have swords um, scaling up to the blue rarity as well. So as you see, I've just taken up this desert camp and I am literally just looting the entire place right now, getting everything I can. So this is how you complete that bit, is collecting all of the diagrams and everything, and that is... As you can see guys, straight away, just by doing a couple of little things, I've collected a bunch of items. And I can sell all these as well, in my inventory. So as you can see, I can choose to do I can choose to do two things with these guys. So as soon as you just get rid of this bit where it shows you the tutorial, or you can just, yeah, just wait for it to finish. You just have to keep pressing X on the PlayStation. And then, as you can see, so I've got hunting trousers, which you can sell for 58 crowns. But it'll be less than that because you're only level 1. Um, as well as Nilf Nilfgaard Nilfgaardian long swords as well, and Temerian poniards. And a small blackjack. At this level, you don't need to worry about rune stones. You can keep them if you want, because they're, they're, they'll be really good later on. But you'll be able to find better ones. So if you do need some quick cash, feel free to sell them. It does not matter. Also guys, before you continue doing all of this, make sure to grab yourself a bomb. You'll get one of these, you'll get a bomb in the main in the main quest where you have to kill the griffin. Um, but you, you should be able to make one beforehand. So by going to, I'm doing this the long way, alchemy. Then there's obviously going to do more tutorials, bombs. So yeah, you can make grape shot or you can make um, sabum so the easiest one to make is sabum obviously 
but they're not that difficult. If you go to the herbalist, I will show you the location in a minute, then you'll be able to buy all the ingredients or you can just collect them yourself. Peter, you can loot, you can probably loot somewhere and sell it and sell and eat. Cylindine you can collect off of the ground, usually around the um, the witch the hut, or you can find it right here as well. One thing I did forget to say, guys, loot all of the herbs and everything you see on the map as well. This might not be too good now, but when you get later on and you need to create more bombs or potions or decoctations to help with the Witcher contracts and fighting bosses this would be a lifesaver this would be so helpful in the long run so do not sleep on the chance to grab to grab some as you can see guys there's also this from where I've just taken out some wolves as well feel um, I didn't collect them just because I was rushing but feel free to collect them they're a good supply of meat and resources as well also guys, clearing out aban um, abandoned locations will make it re-inhabitable uh, re again and people will slowly move in. So the first one you'll come across, you will find four ghouls that have taken over. And once you take it out, then you get access to a merchant and as well as a blacksmith. And don't worry if you think you're going to get one-shotted by higher level enemies. And in this game because even with this drowner I with a mix of light and heavy attacks you are bound to kill him very easily and very quickly just like that the way of the way of Geralt he will always kill things very quickly uh, except from when you reach Velen then you start having trouble as you can see guys I'm just in the middle of getting this this treasure don't forget to use your witcher senses as well that way, that way you'll be able to have a look and see where the treasure is exactly. You can use it underwater or anything. As you can see, it highlights everything. And don't forget to grab some buckthorn as well, guys, when you're in this area, because it'll be very useful later on. As you can see, there is the chest. And as soon as I collect it, you'll also get a good supply of money from this as well so you can use it at the merchant near the inn to buy yourself some good level 5 armor ready for when you reach Velen that'll, and that will help you and save you all the way up until you reach um, the first piece of Master Witcher gear alright guys so now as you can see I've looted the nearby area next to the fort what I would now usually do is go and speak to the, uh, the general about Yennefer just to continue the main story and then I will end up going to the main objectives where you need to go there. Wait till you get the crossbow. Uh, no, before you get the crossbow. Um, because you will learn to make bombs as well. And then I will go and take out the rest of this before before you kill the griffin. Because after you kill the griffin, when you go back to the inn, um, then this place will be inaccessible for a certain amount of time until you're back up into the open world, which is Velen. So it might not be a long wait, but at the same time, it's still it will still be a bit of a nuisance, and it's uh, and it will make you get less levels, less XP at the same time. With all this out, you should be enough for level five. Coming over to this area, guys, there will be a wraith what will try to attack you, and I tried my hardest to show you how to do the fight at level one, but. The, the video just didn't just didn't work out but come down here guys when you come over to here then just search the place next to this dead body guys on the right hand side there will be a little satchel and inside will be it will be the first lot of the viper diagrams definitely definitely grab the viper diagrams before you before you because before you leave white orchard because it is a really good set as a chance to poison your poison your um, enemies and it's good for light and heavy attacks simultaneously it's not part of any witcher armor gear so it doesn't add on to that but it is good for starting armor especially once you reach level 5 which is the recommended level for it 
Now, if you already like me and you collected the buckthorn later on, it won't give you the marker to go to the herbalist. However, she is right here. She is very good and very important for getting all your herbs and all your special needs. So it's right next to that abandoned camp that we took out, the abandoned site. And over here you can find saltpeter, which is the last of your ingredients, as well as you can collect all of these, which would be absolutely a lifesaver later on. So you got molly arrow, you've got... Just going around in at the moment. And if you guys come across a drowner, then make sure that you this is gonna sound weird make sure that you get its brain it's not a hundred percent chance also guys if you didn't pick up the celadine there is a couple of pieces of celadine here or she does um, sell celadine as well but she'll sell saltpeter and with that you can go to alchemy go down to bombs and craft yourself some salmon no preference on which one you want to use I just prefer Samum. Just it's just personal preference at the end of the day. So as you can see, when you go to where your witcher spells are, you go to Samum. Um, you can use it in battles, or what I use it for is destroy nests. Luckily, and for speedrunners, this would be pretty good. The quest Beach of Beasts of White Orchard, where you have to ask the hunter. Um, Nilan, where you find where you found the bodies, you can skip you can skip talking to him, and it won't affect your progress. By just coming over here, you'll collect the place of power here. If you if you're following this guide, you'll find the place of power right next to it. It will pop up if you've already spoken to the general. There's the the Griffin nest right there, so you can progress the main story. Now, if you guys are struggling, this is the only place that is. Well, the abandoned area is a bit glitched. This is what it shows the abandoned area to be like. So as I was saying guys, that abandoned site is a bit glitched and it'll show it as being at the statue. But there won't be any, like, there won't be anywhere to go, so to speak. It just makes it confusing because... Well, you're probably thinking, where do you go? Because there's meant to be a camp nearby, and there isn't. It's just this. It's just the statue. Just don't worry about that one, guys, and move on. Don't spend, Don't do what I do on most of my playthroughs, and look around for ages trying to find somewhere, because I don't think you'll be able to find anywhere. Alright, guys, coming over here. Here is the second, the second piece of your Viper Swords. So that is your steel sword, and also you got your silver sword as well um, at the cemetery. Once you come to locations like these, guys, they will be riddled it. with different ghouls and other monsters. So this one's a ghoul nest, so it'll only have ghouls. But as you can see, as you can see from all the stuff I'm picking up, there was like five, five or six ghouls here. So once you take them out guys, also make sure you always keep your food topped up. It's very easy to miss and like like me just then I almost died. Because ghouls hit heavy. Then you just drop a bomb and that was the purpose of the same bombs. And then you just grab it. You got um, different stuff as well including jewellery as well. So you can sell that for some quick money. So when it comes to actually selling your stuff, you need you need to sell them in specific places so because this game doesn't work on this the same amount for everywhere. So arm armor you need to sell it to armors and um, weapons you need to sell to a weaponsmith. So the first armor is after you complete the side quest where you have to help the dwarf find the armor in um, in White Orchard. So in this little town, this is the first place you go to is where you have to speak to Vesemir again to talk to about killing the griffin. And it's where that um, guy goes after you save him from the griffin right at the start of the game. You help Willis and he will act, act as an armorer as an armor for you. Show me what you got. So he's only an amateur. 
um, he's not, you know, major. You uh, you can sell your swords to him, but as you can see, four, five, four, six. It's not it's not too good. So I'm gonna keep that, and then you can just go ahead selling everything that isn't, you know, good. Good for you. Obviously, like I said, um, as well as the, you, I'm gonna sell my glyphs. You can choose to keep them if you want. The only thing I would recommend keeping right now is the repair kits because they will be good for when your durability goes down so as you can see i've just done that old and i've got 357 so long back out there and now the weaponsmith is where you spoke to the general so it's up here so it's where it's where this grindstone is here that is the armor um he's known as the quartermaster but you can go there and sell your swords to him now so I can see you guys, the quartermaster is the amateur blacksmith. And you can just go ahead just selling everything, um, all of the stuff you got. So I can see, I'll also sell my runestones as well because you can get a lot better ones later on. And as you can see guys, I've, I'm up to eight, 822 gold. So then once you've done that guys, before you fight the griffin, I'd recommend creating the viper sword as well as the steel sword as well. The silver ingots you have to get from a different source as they're not available in White Orchard. Um, and as well as that guys, it's not just that to create. Show me where you're battling. Then you can also upgrade uh, Geralt's breastplate as well. The one he's currently wearing right now. So you need two of these wire. And if you go to speak to Willis again, he will craft so it for you. So the, the item in question, guys, is the warrior leather jacket. So that's why I grabbed the wire. You can also grab it from Willis, but you need cured levers, leather scraps, and wire. If you've done what I've done and just gone around and looted everything, including all the little stuff, then you'll have this stuff, no problem. So you craft it. And yeah guys, that is that is it for that. So this guy doesn't sell silver because people here don't sell don't sell um, silver stuff. Not until you reach Velen. And there you go guys. So that is the I will do before I leave White White Orchard. And make sure to always collect the Witcher cards. I've also made a video on where all the witcher cards in white orchard are it's literally like two different locations and i've got five locations six locations left to do before i complete white orchard but i'll be going to do those killing the griffin and doing the witcher contract as well i will be making a video on the witcher contract in white in white orchard so make sure to watch that guys when that when that releases but if you guys know any tips and tricks or if you guys do things a bit differently than I do, then feel free to comment down below and I will reply to everyone who comments to me. And like I said before guys, if you guys like this video and want to see more, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you guys are brand new. But anyway guys, I'll see you in another video.